Okay, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, this channel, I like to review new products. Um, it may be a new product to you. It'll definitely be a new product to me. Um, maybe you're researching a new product. Um, so this is the channel for you. So if you're interested in this content, please drop a comment and let me know um, some items you would like me to review. But I had really been pondering an espresso maker. I actually never owned a coffee maker and I've been increasing my visits to Starbucks. And so I thought, well, maybe if I have a machine at home that has a high quality coffee, that will reduce my visits. Um, so I had been doing some cold brew at home. I may finally post that video. Um, and so I really wanted to get into the espresso for the flavor and to make my lattes and macchiatos. So if you haven't seen, I've done an unboxing and first impressions video of this um, Nespresso Virtuo Plus. And so now in this video will be my first time using the machine. Since the last video, it's only been less than, I think, 12 hours, but I followed the instructions to rinse the machine. So it basically said to put, I guess, about three quarters of the water tank full of water and then press the top button for three times. And then it went through three cycles of bringing out about nine ounces of very hot water each time. And during that process, the top ring <clears throat> that LED light was orange so I had a mason jar I would not recommend that because it got really hot um, there is a brief amount of time between rinses where you could pour out the water but it's better just to avoid having that problem so you need a pretty big container for that but I would recommend if you have something plastic maybe try that <clears throat> I wiped down the machine during that process um, just to get everything nice and clean. And then for my Aerochino, um, let me show you. There's my Aerochino. I just um, cleaned out the inside. So this lifts off the base and inside um, is, I guess, the mechanism. And then I also cleaned the lid and there's like these little spots and that allows you to slide this whisk on as a place to secure it and then it'll just stay and won't fall so that's kind of cool and then I, I learned that you can remove the whisk if you're not frothing so if you're just heating your milk you would take this off and then you there's like little grooves here on either side to fit and then this is what you would do to clean it so, and then this just easily inserts in the arachino on this part. It's almost like magnetic. And that's it. So I just got all that ready, just did all the cleaning. You always want to make sure that you dry this bottom. Make sure it's dry before you use it with electricity. And you never submerge it in water or anything, but you can clean the inside here. You can clean the froth whisk and you can clean of course the lid and this gasket comes off and so you can get this a good clean um so that's everything and this is the drip tray the open and close and then the top of the machine will turn green when it's um processing and i showed this in the last video so feel free to check that video out so now we have to decide which pod um, we want to use. So let me get the pods. So I showed these in the last video, but these are the capsules. And I was incorrect in the other video. What this is doing is the top, I'm not sure if you can see this, the top is showing the name of the capsule. So for instance, this one, Voltesso. That's the name of the capsule. And then these three are saying, if you like this capsule, then you may like these. And then it lists the three kinds. And then this is the strength of the capsule from a kind of a mild to a, and that's not called mild, medium, and strong, but there's a, a range. Um, and so that kind of tells you where you fall. So I think, I know I want to do an espresso. The Il Cafe is very, oh, robust, I think it says. It's really robust. So it's at 11. The Altissio is a 9. Voltesso is a 4. 
I may, mm, and then there's double expresses. The Kiaro, which is an eight. Let's try that one. That sounds good. So that should be this one. And there's like a little notch that's holding this capsule in. There we go. So this is what the capsule looks like with the barcode on it that the machine reads. And this is the back side. It just says 1.35 ounce, which I mentioned kind of reflective but I mentioned that these are different sizes it says recycle me 40 mil which is 100 1.35 ounce so yeah let's go ahead and give it a try okay so I have my pod here and I have my water tank I do need to put some water in here and I need to put some milk in my arrochino there are some lines in here there's two fill lines one is the lower one down here that is for if you're just heating your milk and then the I'm sorry that's for if you're frothing the upper line is for if you're heating your milk um, because obviously the froth is going to expand so you would not want to go past the lower line so I think we're just gonna fill it up to that lower line and then let's get ourselves some water in a cup okay so I'm back with my water and I just have it in a glass I'm gonna let the drink go into the glass as well so I'm just gonna pour my water in and then I'm gonna close my water dispenser make sure it's attached properly and then I'm just gonna do my Aldi unsweetened vanilla almond milk and I'm gonna fill it up to that lower line of my arrochino okay that should be good and this is cold it talked about it being cold it also talked about it being low fat or full fat but we're just doing almond milk and then I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on my arrochino. The arrochino is supposed to take 70 seconds. And then the Nespresso is supposed to take 40 seconds. So we lift for it to open. I guess I'm not firm enough with it. There we go. And then it didn't wipe inside of this, but it seems pretty clean. I guess we'll find out. And then I'm going to put my pot in. Just like that. Again, this is the yellow one, or the gold one. And then I'm just gonna, can't really see. I'm just gonna press down slightly and it's gonna close. Oh, and it would help if I had my glass under here. I think I need to get a smaller glass because this is a little tall. Okay, we're gonna use this glass until I figure out what I want my, um, glass of choice to be. I may just go ahead and get some of the Nespresso ones since I do have the $40 credit that I mentioned in the other video. But um, okay, so we're gonna, I think I'm gonna end up making this as a cold coffee. So I'm gonna make cold froth. So to make cold froth, I wanna hold down this um, arrochino button for two seconds. So let's start the arrochino first since it takes a little bit longer. We're gonna hold it down, it should turn blue. It turned blue and it should start frothing. I do see it frothing. Now we're gonna see the Nespresso do its job. We're gonna hit our brew button and let's give it a look. And it does make the crema. I apologize for my shaky hand. I don't have my gimbal down here. So it looks like that's all because it's just a one-shot espresso. I don't have the proper mug for it, but. So here we have it. 
That's our one shot espresso. It smells really good. And then we have our froth. And let's try to make a drink out of it. I just gotta get some ice. Okay, so I have the espresso. I have my glass. I have some crushed ice. I have the arachino milk froth. And then I have some syrup, some butter pecan monin. So, I'm gonna put in this. I don't have the pump. Oops. So let's put some syrup in here. It would help if my hand wasn't in the way. Okay, I'm gonna try that amount. And of course, to become a barista, you just have to learn the amount that works for you. Okay, I'm gonna put my espresso in. Try to do it on the opposite side. And I'm not a barista, <laughs> so just making this work. But I'll get better. I'm gonna put my ice in. I have some crushed ice. Okay. And then let's do the froth. The good thing is this froth is not hot, so we don't have to worry about burning ourselves. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a straw. So now it is looking like a macchiato. So I'm gonna stir. And I do wanna get some of that crema that's just holding out, let's see. It would obviously be better if I had a spatula out, but no need to dirty anything else. There we have it. Single espresso latte. Let's try. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I can definitely taste the difference between this and what I was doing before. This is really quite delicious. I Yeah, it's definitely a different richness and flavor of coffee than my cold brew, my, you know, regular ground coffee that I, you know, put in a cold brew um, vessel for 12 to 24 hours and then strain. This is way different. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like a coffee shop coffee. What I was missing because I was trying and trying and trying and it wasn't coming out like Starbucks or anything. This is really delicious. Very good. <laughs> so like I said, this is my first time using it. I'm not a barista. This is my first espresso, my first coffee, my first time using this machine. So I probably will need to do a third video once I've gotten a chance to use it a little while. I want to use the coffee capsules. Um, please let me know if there's anything specific you want to see about this machine or just another review that you would like me to complete. And please subscribe and comment below and just give me some encouragement to keep posting videos into 2023. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.